Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this week's edition of Ladies, 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 since it appears that the way that there is an attempt to hide the monstrous awfulness that will be the trailer for the next Snow White uh, remake coming up, oh yes, oh yes, I said next, because trust me, there's going to be more, there's going to be more, there always will be more, it will happen, it will happen, whether under the whole Mouse House situation or not. But, of course, because of how that first trailer they did, uh, that, and they released on YouTube before they put it out anywhere in the movie theater, was such a monumental, looming disaster, they are doing everything they can to try and hide it from public scrutiny, this new trailer. And they're trying to hide this new trailer for the Snow White remake from public scrutiny by attaching it to uh, the movie Wicked. Yeah, um, remember people who question whether or not the people in charge over there at Disney are absolutely positively stupid? Because I'm pretty sure that there is no way you're going to be able to try and have it out there and hide people's reactions. Because trust me, all you're going to do is going to have to go and make sure a lot of copyright strikes get put when somebody hides their camera in the theater that's showing Wicked and they'll get that trailer out there. To the point of people will make an effort just to go see Wicked, just to go see the trailer for St uh, Snow White long enough that they can record it. They can make some comments about it right there live as it's happening and then go and leave. Now the, the exact opposite kind of audience that you want for your movie. Like with say when the trailer for Batman 89 was out there in theaters and and people would go to movies that just had the trailer for Batman attached, they would go to see it, and then they would go and leave. They'd just go home. Like how the Wing Commander movie, that massive bomb back in the late 90s, was one that people went to go see just because the movie had the trailer for Episode 1 attached to it, and they would simply walk away, go home. Oh yeah, I saw the trailer I wanted to see. Alright, now I'm done. That's all they wanted. That's all they got. And that's essentially now what they're going to be wind up incentivizing with uh, this movie coming out. And the fact that, well, beyond this, you've also got the leak out there that our a good old-fashioned Imagineer for the Mouse House is saying that this is unwatchable and that it is as bad as that uh, straight-to-Disney Plus remake they did of Pinocchio with Tom Hanks and Robert Zemeckis, which, well, lucky for them, they put it on Disney Plus so that wouldn't wind up having worse box office results than here. Yeah, that's a little something that you really, really don't want to have to think about. And, well, why not? Because it's not as if, you know, the Snow White remake doesn't have all the best things going for it. You know, a director that nobody really knows or nobody cares about, but he's able to say action and cut, you know, no matter how many different times of reshoots and rewrites that are demanded of him by the idiotic studio, instead of simply actually putting effort and thought into a script so that when it's finished, you can work and film your movie from that, and you don't need a metric ton of reshoots and rewrites to get it right again and again and again. But then again, remember, this is the modern Mouse House. The House of Mouse does not know how to get these things right. They got to spend and spend and throw away and reshoot and rewrite absolutely positively everything again and again and again. And then you wonder why, basically, they have the financial discipline of a rapper whose accountant is Nicolas Cage or a Democrat uh, president. And now they think that somehow there is not going to be any stupidity involved in trying to hide this new trailer for this god-awful, destined-to-be-terrible remake while putting it in front of a film that is by a rival studio that already has done, uh, just comparatively, a lot better financially than you're ever going to see from this remake. But remember, it's, you know, wicked, so just sitting how in general Hollywood is out of its way, going out of its way to be stupid and wasteful, the idea of doing a wicked movie 20 years after the first, after the first wave of the Broadway musical being out there, not exactly the smartest decision, and already as much as Hollywood wants this to be a, one of those box office um, the hits of a movie that is so blatantly anti-man and so feminist-fueled crap. But then at the same time, you already look in the opening weekend for it is well behind what we're dealing with uh, with uh, Barbie by comparison. So, yeah, not exactly getting what it is they want. But then again, Universal also already has the upcoming uh, future success with more Nintendo movies. Since, yes, Universal's at least smart enough, unlike the idiots at the House of Mouse, to see a trend dying. And instead of throwing more and more good money at the bad money of the MCU, they're going and pivoting towards the world of video games. 
because now they've got the Super Mario sequel coming up. There's going to be another Don uh, a Donkey Kong spinoff that's going to be happening. And also next year, you're going to have the Legend of Zelda movie Universal is making. So they were the smart ones in going out of the way to make up for all of those superhero stuff falling apart by making sure, oh, wait, well, maybe we should do something else. How about video games? Yes, video games seem to be doing well because when it comes to what people are actually excited to see, any of the latest crap from the good old House of Mouse? No, but there is a lot of positive hype around uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which is definitely not a good sign for the idiots that still want to go through the Rachel Zegler Hindenburg that's about to land and just keeps pushing it back and reshooting and trying to advertise the movie while simultaneously trying to hide their advertisements for the movie. Because new fascinating paradoxes of human stupidity is the only real creative innovation that they are capable of anymore. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe so my channel hits 10,000 subs. Become a channel member today. And shop at my art store with uh, the second link below where you can either buy my art or you can commission me for artwork. Or you can donate to me directly to show your support in there. Or you can go and if you want to buy or commission me but you live outside the USA, simply uh, make your purchase as a donation with an additional one for the international shipping and handling fee. So, until then, felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, space cowboy.